Alrighty, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now I apologize. I actually filmed this the night before Tuesday. So Monday night, I filmed my doodle for Tuesday. And I had to take my mom to the dentist. And it was a all day thing. I'm not joking. So I went all the way to the city to these dentist people. And it was just, you know, awesome, cool dentist people. But anyways, I had to take my mom and she just she was just having a horrible day so I was there for her the whole day that's why I did not upload this video so let's talk about this video it is a two-part video that means I've got today's prompt and I've got yesterday's prompt so precious was yesterday it was October 9th prompt was precious of course all I could think of when I saw precious was Smeagol but I hate Smeagol and I hate Gollum and I went no I'm not drawing him so because they call the ring precious but if you're a Lord of the Rings fan then you see that Frodo actually mentions that it's precious to him and so this is the first time I've ever I don't know no this isn't the first time I think this is the second time I've ever drawn Frodo I think I made him look a little too grown up I don't know. I don't think I've made him look too grown up. I just think that I added too much age to him. So once again, I'm using the technique where I'm using my warm grays, tone tan paper, uh, regular inks, and Copic markers. So this is a couple of the cool grays, which is C7 and C9, and then W1, W3, W5, and W7. And I have not used W9. But yes, and this is on Strathmore Tone Tan Paper, and I'm using Dr. P.H. Martin's white ink. It's for airbrushing and just to replace ink in pens, so that's what I'm using on Frodo. And yeah, I like the way that it came out. I just, yeah, once again, I think I aged him too much. But then again, if you were in that kind of situation, you were carrying around the biggest burden in the entire Middle Earth. I think it would age you just a little bit. Kind of give you some of those age lines on your face. I know that, I know that Elijah has great skin and he looks great, but I know that I made him look a little too old because he is, he ages great. He doesn't look old at all. I mean, I haven't seen him recently, <laughs> but yeah. All right. So let's go on to the next doodle for today's prompt. Today's prompt was the word flowing. Now I knew from the beginning when I was writing out all the words and who I wanted to draw with who, what I wanted to draw, I wanted to draw a dress. And I knew that Cinderella, the live action Cinderella's dress was probably the most flowy dress I have ever seen. I don't know, looking at Belle's live action dress, I kind of looked at it and I went, eh, it's not that flowy. I don't know, I might draw it by the end of the day, who knows, but instead I went ahead and I drew Cinderella the live action when she first has her transformation and from her tattered pink dress into the be big beautiful blue dress. So here it is, as you can see. And as you can see, I'm trying to do a different type of pose. So you can see I kind of put the arm all the way in the back like it looks in the transformation and I think it turned out well. I'm just trying really hard to do different techniques and to draw differently from different angles just to act more on the shading as opposed to the position. So instead of drawing her arm all the way out next to her, I wanted it more behind her body. So I made it smaller, like her arm is kind of crooked in the back when she's spinning, like she does in the actual movie and she's spinning. So that's what I was trying to portray here. And oh, I'm actually using color because how can I miss using color on today's prompt? I had to use color. It was way too much fun not to use color. So I went ahead and I used color along with my warm grays and I just shaded it with my warm grays and my cool grays. So I put most of the color down first and then I went on top of it with the warm grays and I feel like that really added something to it and I really enjoyed how that turned out. I love the warm grays actually accented the blue in a way and gave it its own kind of shade to the blue by adding the warm grays or the cool grays. So I really highly suggest that if you are interested in doing any tone tan sketches this Inktober then you should definitely give this one a try. But yes, see, it happens. I mean, I think even Jake Parker is down a day or he just, he's behind a day 
or I don't know, everybody falls behind because I've seen already a couple of people have fallen behind and post their doodles like the next day. I mean, this is what happens in Inktober. It's hard to actually put out or to keep up if life happens, like you have to go to the dentist or take your mom to the dentist, then this is what happens. It's just life happens and it's completely acceptable to skip a day. I almost skipped a day where I thought that on Monday evening, I thought, I don't think I'll do Frodo. I don't really care. Or I almost didn't put up my video just because I was just like, eh, I don't really like this. But, you know, just gotta keep going. And I promised I would. It's so it's integrity. <laughs> but yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed the two-day combination of videos. I'm sorry once again for missing a day. I hope y'all are staying strong and keeping on going with Inktober. Don't stress out too much. It'll all come together in the end. And I hope you all have a most wonderful day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! Bye!